Hey guys! All right, I have a question for you on your field trip right now. Look at the tree here behind me. What do you think happened? You see all the holes up on it? What do you think caused those holes in the tree? Think about it for a second. And if you're thinking of a woodpecker, you're correct. A woodpecker came through and pecked away at the tree looking for bugs and insects to eat for lunch. But after the woodpecker left and flew away, some of those holes are then used by chickadees to live in and other small birds as a home. Now, if you see a tree that has fallen down somewhere in the forest around you and it's no longer alive or it's upright and still no longer alive, do you think we should clear that tree away or keep it where it is? I'll give you guys a hint. Remember those homes. So if you clear a tree away, you might be clearing away an animal's home, but also even if the tree is down on the ground, the nothing on the tree will go to waste. Everything in the forest is reused and recycled. The trees that grow up really high in the sky will one day become the dirt under your feet. That's because of the FBI of the forest. That's fungus, bacteria, and insects. Those three different kinds of species are gonna go through and grow on everything you see, take it over and decompose it. Our decomposers make sure that things end up back as dirt, which new plants will grow up out of. So think about that next time you see anything dead in the forest, should you leave it where it is or chop it up and take it with you? All right, I mentioned the trees up above when they fall to the ground become the dirt under your feet. And that's through the FBI of the forest. So let's take a little bit closer look at that process and action. We'll get two different trees at two different stages. So first off, let's look down here at this tree. This fell down on the ground and is laying out all the way across the forest floor. But we're not gonna chop it up and move it away. And that's because the FBI. So if we come over here, you can see a different tree that's fallen down. Look, it's blending right into the ground. What is it covered in here? Can you see? This is part of a tree. You can see a little bit more of the tree down here. It's all covered in moss. It's gonna help take everything over. And underneath that moss can be other bacteria and funguses living there, and that'll help break everything down. Moss is also a really great environment for different insects to live in. It's nice and dark and damp and protected. So they can chew on the bark and decompose it. They can live under there, be nice and safe and stay warm during all the seasons. So let's keep looking for other signs of things in the forest. All right, here's a really great example of our fungus, bacteria and insects here. When you look at the edge of this log right here, it's absolutely covered in that fungus. And that is helping break down this entire pile of logs. You can see it looks a little different over here. So keep your eyes peeled out on your trails to see if you guys can find any of the FBI or the forest. I challenge you to get outside and look for it after your field trip.